Laura felt so weak as she leaned her back against the wall of a dingy street, and then suddenly her face brightened up. She saw her mother's car. This was her chance to find redemption. Laura ran and ran but her 26-year-old body was too with from all the doses her boyfriend gave to her this morning, and then suddenly as she gained some strength to continue running, a hand grabbed her. She looked into the dark brown eyes of the man she once thought was her world. She couldn't believe how foolish she was in high school, falling for all his charming words. Laura was one of the best ballerinas and her parents already signed her up to be at one the best dance schools in the world. He life was all set, until she fell so deeply in love that no matter what anyone said to her, Jack was her life. Love can make a girl do crazy things, her mother once warned her and she didn't listen, of course she was only but a teenager. They lived in a dingy apartment in a shabby neighborhood, and Laura was not allowed to work, since Jack promised to take care of her with his criminal activities. Jack worked with a ganji who stole people's bank cards, IDs, and committed fraud. When days were bad, Laura had to make sure that she was on her best behavior or else she was going to be his punching bag, and when days were good, she would get good food and more powder inserted into her viands. She was never an addict of anything, but he made her believe that the substance takes away all her problems, which it did for few hours, and then when she wakes up to reality, she looks at herself in the mirror shocked as if she was in a nightmare. There was once when she was 23 when she went home and her parents tried to help her, but because she was already deep into whatever Jack was feeding her, she ripped her poor parents of a lifetime of savings they hid away in their cupboard. Ever since she was a little girl her parents wanted to go on a trip to the Maldives, and they saved up for it, just like they saved for her college. Her parents were not stinking rich but good people who lived decent lives. Laura killed her parents' dreams of the Maldives when she stole all that money, and worst of all she broke their hearts. Now they have disowned her. And then one day the most horrific thing happened to her that made her think carefully about her life. It was the 27th of August and she felt sick to her stomach, Jack made her feel better by giving her an extra dose. She felt like she was in heaven for most of the day, and while Jack was away, Laura decided she would cook roast chicken. She put the chicken in the oven and then collapsed on the bed. When she woke up Jack was banging on the door and the kitchen oven was on fire. This was when she saw the reality of her fate and what kind of a monster she ended up falling in love with. 